Hey, Gateway Church, welcome to Night of Worship. Amen. We're so glad you've joined us both there online or at home and here in person in the building. It's going to be an incredible night worshiping Jesus together. Hey, the Spirit of the Lord is here. Amen. And we're going to experience His presence. And, and I don't know what you came in here with, but if you came in here with any burden, any weight, anything that you are ready to get rid of, would you just lay it today at the feet of Jesus as we encounter His name, as we lift up His name, and as we worship the Lord Jesus together? I believe He's going to move in a powerful, mighty way. So Jesus, we give you this moment. We say yes to your name and we lift your name high and we trust you in every moment that we have together. And as your people, we come together and we worship the name of the Lord. Let's worship together. Come on, church.
eyes are open tonight. We welcome your presence, God. Feel this room. Come on, let's go. Let our praise be your welcome. Come on. Let our song be a sound. You sing it.
you, but I can already sense and, and feel the presence of a mighty God in this place doing a work in each of us. So I want you just to shout out, Lord, I surrender. I'm going to say, Lord, I surrender. Lord, have your way. Lord, we pray right now in this building, Lord, in this room, in our lives, God, that you would have your way, God, that you would move in us. Lord, whatever needs to be transformed or changed in our lives, God, we just say, have your way. Lord, we open our heart to you and we say, God, move in us. Lord, move in this place. Lord, move in our hearts. Move in our families. We worship and honor your name, Jesus. Come we'll on, just speak the name above all names. And we'll say it again. Jesus. Jesus, have your way. Holy Spirit, come and fill this place. We are. your way in his house.
to my rescue and I want to be where you are I call you answer always so Exodus 33, Moses says, Lord, are you going to go with us? Because I don't want to be anywhere that you aren't there. And I don't want to go into the promised land unless you're with me. He realized the value and the necessity of having God with him at all times. You know, I think sometimes in my life when I'm stuck in a place where I really don't know how I'm going to get out of that spot, so often in my life, I look back and I realize that there were so many moments where I got ahead of God. And then I realized that I'm ahead of where he is and I'm alone, I'm by myself. And sometimes you have to back up to catch up to God. Also read just this week where someone said, when you're waiting for the next door to open, praise God in the hallway. Isn't that good? Like, praise Him in the hallway. Praise Him in the in-between. In the meantime, when things don't make sense, praise Him. Because He's still God. He's faithful. Amen? And the reality is, is so many times in our life when we're searching for answers, we look in so many places when the only place we really need to be looking is straight into the eyes of Jesus and keeping our eyes fixed on Him because He is our hope. Amen? So I don't know about you, but I am willing to wait on him because every time I call on him and I I speak the name of Jesus, I know that everything's going to be okay because there's peace in that name. There's healing in that name. There's redemption in that name. There's resource in that name. There's hope in that name. Amen. Can you just speak that name? Just say, Jesus, 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 Jesus in my life. In my life, be lifted high above everything else. You establish the throne on my heart. Say say this, Lord, I give you first place. Lord, you, you take your place on the throne of my heart. You take your place, God, in my life. In my life, be lifted high. In my world, be lifted high. In my sing that over your life. Declare it. Prophesy that. In my life be lifted high in our world be lifted high in our love be lifted high cause I call
we surrender everything. We lay everything down before your throne. Let have your way in us. Shed the darkness 
testify I'm a rise in his love I'll shout Bless the Lord Just the voices. Bless the Lord, my soul. Your name is within me. I will rise in His love. I'll shout what He's also just want to tell us that you're present and that you're bringing comfort and that you're bringing joy and that you're bringing peace right here that you're bringing healing in our every single moment even as we're just worshiping you you're bringing healing you're moving you don't stop
So we're gonna sing that again, and I want you to sing it seriously, that you're really believing that. Come on, let's sing it. Oh, when I'm seen, I'm known. tonight we release a worship in this atmosphere because of your goodness and your faithfulness you have walked with us come on this you have walked with me you have held me you have been there for me you have been faithful 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 there's a shout in your heart come on faithful 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 somebody shout he will never let me down come on shout he will never let me down he won't that's not the God we serve and the devil is a liar tonight. God is still good. God is just 
good, 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 good. And I feel in my heart, this has been amazing. I sense the presence of God in this room right now. All year long, I've been hearing the Holy Spirit just remind me that God is good. And I know for some of y'all, y'all need some deep theology, but that's all I've got tonight. God is good. God, and I can win the battle with that word. I can win. Some of you in the morning, when you wake up in the morning, the first thing you need to say when you, when you step out of bed is God is good. I, God is, don't even let the devil start speaking. You start speaking first. God is, somebody say, God is good. God, somebody is God. Now somebody lift a shout right now and worship him. Let's sing this out. I love you, Lord. Oh, your mercy never fails me. All my days held in your hand. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head. I will sing of the goodness of God. Oh. Come on, see that. In all my life, you have been faithful. All my life, you have been so, so good. With every God. I'm going to sing of the goodness. I love your voice. You have led me through the fire. And in darkest times, you are closer like no other. See, I've known you as a father. I've known you as a friend. And I have lived in the goodness of oh God. Yeah, yeah. All my life you have been free. Can we sing that church? Sing it together. I will sing of your goodness. Oh. Your goodness is running out. It's running out to me. Your goodness is running out. To, it's running out to me. When my life lay down, I surrender now. I give you everything. Your goodness is running out, it's running out. I dare you to sing it. Come on, sing it. Your goodness is running out. Yes. It's running out to me. Yes. Your goodness is running out. It's running out to me. With my life laid down, I surrender.
every single day. And all my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, oh, I'm saved of the goodness of God. Come on, sing. Oh, I'm saved of the goodness. Stay right there. Through the fire, I'll sing it. Storm, I'll sing it. I will sing of the goodness. I'm going to fight with my worship. I'm going to keep singing. I will sing of the goodness. And I won't stop singing. I won't stop singing. I will sing of the goodness of God. Yes, I will sing. Of the goodness of God, I will sing. I'm gonna sing. I hear in the spirit, Pastor Nathan. I hear the Holy Spirit singing to somebody. You're gonna get your song back tonight. Would you, if, if you wouldn't mind lifting those hands with me and receiving? And what does that song represent? It, rep it represents that innocent worship and you don't need a crowd just you and Jesus you're gonna sing to Jesus and even if you're off key it doesn't even matter because Jesus is listening to your song and he hears your heart and he knows that deep in your heart is a praise that's about to build a bridge over your trouble your praise is building a bridge over the valley you're coming out you're coming out you're coming out you're coming out You're a good, good father. It's who you are. Sing it out. It's who you are. It's who you are, and I'm loved by It's who I am. Yeah. It's who I am. Come on. It's who I am. three-year-old his name is Nathan and when I come home he runs you know you know how kids do they run they run to you and I feel like you're not just gonna get your song back you're about to get your dance back you're about to and I feel like the father just walked in the room and as we sing this song again I want you to get free in your heart and get the joy back the, the joy of the Lord is your strength tonight you gotta stir up the joy hey,
when we lean into God, he's faithful to lean in to us. And I, I believe there's already been miracles going on in the room tonight. I believe God's been doing good things tonight. And I just want to remind us, just as we've been singing, James 1 says, every good and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of lights with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. God has good gifts for his children. Amen. And I believe God's been doing so many things tonight already. But there was a couple of things that God just laid on my heart. And he's already actually been moving all through the night. And, you know, I, I've just, I, you guys got me fired up tonight. Like, I feel like I'm going back to my youth pastor days that I used to just, like, always tell, tell the students, hey, we're going we're gonna to kick the devil in the teeth tonight. Like, that's, that's what we just did tonight. And I, I feel this zeal coming over us as a church and I believe that one of the things that the enemy has been doing, one of the main things he's been doing is he has had a negative narrative over our lives. And in this last season, it's been so intense. It's in society, but even on the inside, Madison touched on it earlier, even on the inside, the devil's just talking to you, just talking to you. There's this inner negative narrative. And I want to scripture, read the scripture to you and I want to pray over because I believe we've already broke through the heavens but as we walk out of here tonight, as we finish in a few minutes, God wants us to continue to declare his truth over our lives and not bow to the lies of the enemy. Amen. Second Corinthians says this, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they're mighty in God for pulling down strongholds. I believe strongholds have been loosened over people's mind. Even in this moment, strongholds are being broken over your life. 
It says, casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought captive into the obedience of Christ. I believe in this moment, as we leave this place, God is giving us this song that Michael was talking about, this dance where we begin to do battle. Even Pastor Robert was talking about it this week and last weekend as we're talking about worship and praise. He's arming us with battles. He's taking us to a new level to say, you know what? I'm not going to listen to anything that exalts itself against the truth of God's word in my life amen and so if you would just put your hand on your heart because I believe even in this moment there's more lies that the enemy wants to break off I believe there's depression that God wants to break off your life tonight there's loneliness some of you have felt lonely because of everything that's been going on and the voice of the enemy is saying yeah no one cares no one's there I'm here to tell you God cares he's there his people we are here we are there we love you we see you and so father right now in the name of Jesus Lord we continue to declare your truth over our lives that you are a good God and you have good gifts for us and you have purpose and you have vision and you have hope for our lives God Lord I'm asking even as they go to sleep tonight even everyone that's watching online as they go to sleep Lord I'm asking for dreams and visions God Lord the destiny that you have Lord gifts to be awakened God things that you've placed on people's hearts God dreams to be awakened the song to be awakened the dance the joy to be awakened once again in our hearts and we thank you for it in Jesus name amen amen hallelujah one other thing I'm gonna pray over us and then we're gonna close in a couple more songs but I also just believe that God is just, he's, he's moving in this room with healing. Not just physical healing, but even emotional healing. Some of you have walked in with some wounds from relationships in your life. I believe he wants to touch your heart today. I believe he wants to touch you physically today. I think there's, there's people in here where you've had uh, joint pain, specifically, I just heard the Lord talk about he wants to heal joint pain. There's some of you, you've, have, you've had liver issues, and he wants to heal those right now. So if you have any physical healing, if you need healing tonight, I just want you to lift up your hand in faith tonight, because we believe that where the presence of God is, there is healing, there is power. If you see a hand up around you, would you just stretch your hand out? Lord, we thank you, God, that you are the God of miracles, that you are the God of healing. And God, that when you step into the room, anything and everything is possible. And so, God, we speak healing right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, over everybody that has their hand lifted, Lord, physical healing, emotional healing, God. Lord, wounds and offenses that are there, God, we're asking right now for your Holy Spirit to touch their lives, to touch their hearts, bring healing and wholeness right now in the name of Jesus. And everybody said amen, amen, amen. We're going to go back into worship, but I just want to continue to encourage you, man. When we lift up our praise, we kick the devil in the face. We lift up our praise, that almost rhymes, come on, we kick the devil in the face. And so let's declare God's truth over our lives. Amen, amen.
breakthrough. How about you? Can we just give Jesus, look, one more big shout of praise to end the night. Come on, one, two, three, make some noise for the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, hey, can we just say thank you to this amazing worship team? Wasn't that incredible? Wow. Well, I'm filled up. I'm ready to go. I think I can make it through 2021 just from tonight. We're so grateful that you guys joined us. We hope that right after this, you'll join us in the lobby. We've got um, pie. Everybody loves pie. Come on, get it up for pie. And we've got hot chocolate. So join us right after this. Hey, let me pray for you before we go. Heavenly Father, thank you for your people, your church. I thank you that your presence will go with them. Lord God, I thank you that you go before them and you follow up after them, Lord. You're all around them. Lord, I pray for their families. Lord, their faith, their finances. Lord, their children and their children's children. God, put your hand of blessing on them. In the name of Jesus, we pray. And everybody said... Amen, amen. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next week.